that's the only <laughs> major memory I have of it. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, chat. Yeah. I never really worked with him very closely on Potter, but I did work with him for two months when I was 13, um, because he directed a film called The Winter Guest. I don't know if anyone's seen The Winter Guest. <laughs> I have. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Always love for support. Lots of events. Um, it's, 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 uh, Winter death. Yeah, it's about death. Uh, <laughs> it, wow. <laughs> but, but, um, so yeah, at the tender age of 13, I spent two months being directed by him, uh, including two, I think for two weeks we just rehearsed, um, myself and the other young boy that was in the film, uh, in a function suite in a hotel with, with Alan. Uh, and that was just... It's been downhill ever since then, like, as a way to start working in film. Um, I, I learned on Chamber of Secrets when we were shooting the burrow scene during breakfast, there's two things I learned in that scene. One of them was that you should never eat on camera, because once you've done it once, you then have to do it for every single other take, or to sort of have continuity. Um, so 17 cooked breakfasts in a day is not a good move. Um, but also trying to, but also eating food whilst Judy Walters and Mark Williams are cracking jokes and improvising means that you will find out that you can laugh baked beans back out through your nose. <laughs> uh, which isn't a pleasant experience for anyone. Uh, I'm also not very good with stairs. Stairs and wizard's robes are not a good mix. Um, I tripped over Devon. In, in, Many uh, times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a bit actually it's in Prison of Azkaban, when, you know, where the portrait's been slashed. Um, just as we all go running back up the stairs, I think you're just like just behind me or just in front of me or something. And you're obviously trying to get past, and you like grab at my shoulder, and I just vanish out of shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tripped over Devon just this morning. <laughs> Well, we, we all tripped over Yeah, we all tripped over I hate you all. <laughs> well, I, I am a left man, so it's all good. <laughs> uh, my most embarrassing thing on set. So on the very first movie, I was, I think I was 12 while we were filming a lot of it. And I didn't lose any of my baby teeth until we started filming. <laughs> So you can imagine. Shut up. No, what are you about to say right now? No. <laughs> so they had to uh, make false teeth for me. Like, it used to be on a daily basis. So I couldn't have false teeth. I, I couldn't keep it in. Like, I, I just gag when they're on my top teeth, like the fake ones. So we were filming one day and I just started gagging and I vomited everywhere <laughs> while we were filming it. I have it at home. Uh, <laughs> Because they were going to put it on something, and I was like, no, you can't ever show it to anybody. And somebody actually sent me a picture recently on Snapchat or something, and the face was like me going, mm. it was just before I got sick. So it's out there somewhere. It's not the video. Mike was also in, involved in Alan, actually, when he was doing a scene in, we, in the Great Hall. I don't know if anyone else, you guys might be sitting next to me at the time. We are doing a scene in the Great Hall, and. Uh, he was doing the scene, we were just kind of there. And um, I didn't realise that we were turning over and I poured myself a glass of water right over one of his lines. And he was the nicest, most generous man in the world, but as I'm sure you can imagine, he could also make you want to kill yourself with a <laughs> millimetre move of the eyebrow. And that's what he did. And, and I still shudder to think of that look to this day. Mine was actually in the room of requirement. Um, me and Rupert, and we don't know why to this day, like to this day, we just used to burst out laughing. Like um, seconds before Daily Ace would say action, we would be crying. Like, you could just see us like, because we were laughing from inside so much. David was like, action! And then Rupert, and Rupert burst out laughing. I burst out, we don't know why we were laughing. We got separated so many times. I got moved, you can see actually in some of the scenes that we were kind of I'm straight at the front and then because I've been moved by David, I'm actually now at the back. So me and Rupert actually were separating after every take. He'd be like, no, you two, separate. separate. And then it would happen 
and I could hear him, even when I was stood at the back, even when he was at the front, I could hear him laugh. So just before every take, and we had um, one scene where we had one shot, it was one shot one day, it was when Umbridge kind of broke through the wall. So we had this glass kind of mirror, and it was, we only had this one shot to see, and he, he laughed. <laughs> he laughed, and just before they broke the mirror, he stopped, he was like, David Yates is the most nicest, most calmest, quiet, like, man, but he actually took us to the side and was like, guys, I'm not even joking now. You guys can't do this. And whatever you guys need to do, stop. And, yeah, and so we were literally like, yeah, we had to for the sake of it, but yeah. It was constantly being moved by Rupert. Even in the Great Hall, we don't even know why. Remember, Rupert just kept on laughing. Once he's got the giggle, oh, that's it. Yeah. Everyone went. Yep. He's the worst giggler. He's the worst <laughs> giggler. Terrible. For no reason. No. Yeah. He got me in trouble. And he, he tries to convince everybody that he's not laughing. Exactly, but you can hear him, you can see his body and shaking because he's, he's, he's trying to keep it in. Yeah, I know. Do you remember when, in the fifth movie, me and Harry have the big argument and... In the, the common room. room. The common yes, room. that one. And I remember that, that I was going to say. Yeah. So they ended up, uh, we stopped filming it one day because literally... We couldn't, every time we we couldn't carry on the scene? No. So I'm having this big barney with mm -hmm. Harry. And Ron walks in, every time Ron, uh, Ron, every time Rupert would walk in, like it was just, he'd start pissing. We don't know why. I'd go, I'd go, I go, I would go, go and it was literally me and Rupert. Once Rupert started, I would go and everybody else, and everyone hated us, and they were like, oh my god, not again. But that's why he was good at cut up. Dave was laughing, and the other day, yeah, 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 yeah. pissing themselves. Yeah. And they're like, look, it's not gonna work today. I think the only person that used to get pissed off is Dan. Yeah. Because <laughs> he would say this huge monologue, and Dan actually at that point, and then we just ruined the whole thing. <laughs>